Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your start menu and start button is not working properly on Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So if you're unable to open up the start menu, what I would suggest is go down to your bottom taskbar, the bar with the clock and the time and everything and find a blank space on it. You want to right click on it left click on task manager now you want to left click on the file tab up at the top left click on it one time and then left click on run new task now in open you want to type in powershell so p-o-w-e-r-s-h-e-l-l -L -L, and then check mark where it says create this task with administrative privileges left click on ok now in this elevated command line window I'm actually going to shrink it down a little bit doesn't need to be this big Okay, so now in this elevated command line window, I'm going to have a command pasted in the description of the video. I want you to copy it out of the description. And I want you to go up to the top bar here, right click on it one time, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste in the command. Hit enter to run it here. So it should say deployment operation progress and just let it run here. It's very important you check mark to run with administrator permissions. And you might get a little bit of red saying a couple of these apps were not deployed successfully. It's not the end of the world, but you can see how much is running currently. So this will take a few minutes. I will let it run, and you guys can see how long it takes. If you want to skip ahead in the video, you're more than welcome to, because I am going to have a couple more things I want to get into once this is done. So just hang tight, and I'll be back. Okay guys, so once you have a blinking dot at the end, that means that it has finished up here. So you keep in mind we're running quite a few commands, so there are a couple that are currently unavailable because you can see if you actually read it, it says the package cannot be installed because a higher version of this package is already installed. So do not be concerned with that. It's not meant to scare you in any way. So just close out of here once you're done. I would suggest restarting your computer and see if that's resolved the issue. Now if that has not, I would further suggest trying to get into safe mode or trying to run a system restore. If you have the Windows 10 media creation utility, you're more than welcome to boot off of that. It's a free utility. 
just has Windows 10 on and you get it directly from Microsoft. You can boot a lot of different troubleshooting options from there. I've made tutorials about that in the past, so feel free to check them out on my channel. But I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.